Woo! We back, guys. We are back. Back to making regular content. Today we're going to be talking about some Xbox stuff, man. You know, not necessarily all Xbox. There is some stuff that's going on that uh, we could talk about that's not primarily Xbox. We're going to talk about Diablo 4 hitting Game Pass. Now, obviously, I've been very vocal that I'm not the biggest Diablo fan, but I can see how this game could really appeal to a lot of people in Game Pass. We're going to talk about the Xbox Series X digital version. Going to be interesting. I'm kind of, I got my own opinions on that. And we're also going to talk about Gearbox being sold to take two. So what's going on, you guys? Appreciate you guys coming back here. Apparently, Diablo 4 is on Game Pass. Now, like I said, you guys know I'm not a big fan of this game. But one thing I will say is this is a huge franchise. Like, gigantic. Probably one of the you know biggest type of games like this out there. Uh, I've always wondered why Microsoft didn't try to like push to get that game in Game Pass sooner. But it is uh, one of the biggest highlights to that business event they did not long ago where they just came out. They told us some, some bad news and they're like, look, Diablo going to be in Game Pass at the end of uh, next month. It's the end of next month. Recommend all of you guys go play that. You know, even if you guys don't like those type of games like me, if you got a Game Pass subscription, definitely go out there and try that. Uh, Diablo is a very old franchise, very successful franchise. I do think that there's got to be a little bit more communication to when these these uh, these Blizzard Activision games are coming to Game Pass because with Bethesda, I felt like when they would drop these type of games, they would drop a lot more of them quicker. So it's interesting that you know they're able to get stuff like Diablo Four in there before they get like the Crash games or the Crash remakes or. The Spiral games. There's a lot of games that I think could be in Game Pass right now. Especially, you know, Sekiro Shadow Dice twice. Activision published that game. So I'm kind of curious if they have the ability to put that game in Game Pass. Now, obviously, there's behind-the-scenes stuff they got to do, which is interesting. But Diablo 4 is probably one of the most relevant IPs they own right now. So having that game go into Game Pass really shows that, look, we're giving you Diablo right now. And we're going to give you the rest of the games later. I feel like it's a definitely a good game to start with, man. Definitely recommend you guys go try it. You know, got a lot of uh, gameplay. Got a lot of variety ways you can play that game. Think you guys would enjoy that dramatically. The next thing we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about the Xbox Series X. Apparently, there is a leaked white image going out there right now. And... What looks to be seen is it's not going to have a disc tray. It's going to be a digital version. Now, it's not really been leaked that anything relevant is being upgraded on here. I did see something where say it was like a heat seek was being upgraded on it. But as far as like enhancements, it doesn't look like that's going to have any. This is just strictly a digital version of the Xbox Series X. Now, here's where my feeling on this is. Like, I do think this is pretty important because there's a lot of people such as myself that have an Xbox with a disc tray, and I don't use it. So the only way that this works to me, like really works to me, is that they're able to give you a discount buying the digital version. You know, we see these Xbox goes up in price. We've seen PlayStations go up in price. Do not come out with a digital Xbox Series X without an up, uh, a reduce on price. I don't even want them going the direction, you know, maybe you guys can put in the comment section below because I know a lot of people like when people do this. I don't even want them going out there with a hard, uh, you know, more on the hard drive, you know, giving us like instead of a one terabyte, maybe a two terabyte, and then that justifies the same price or maybe even raising. I'll, God, hope. I hope, I hope they don't raise the price, you know, trying to, to, to milk more money from us, man. You know, we're going to give you an extra terabyte. We want an extra 50 bucks. Hopefully they won't do that. I don't think they will. You know, you don't, they don't have to put the disc tray in, which I'm kind of curious how much the disc tray uh, costs to put in the Xbox Series X. Put it in the comment section below if you guys know. I'm curious on that. You know, 
it's only in the white spec, so which is interesting. One would think, you know, people bought the original Xbox Series X because it like fits in with their their setup so well. Like as you guys see, I have a black setup. I thought it would have been interesting if they just gave you the option for both. You know, I don't know, maybe maybe like semantically when it comes to making these things, that's not easy to do. I don't know yet. We'll have to get more information on I'm assuming this is going to come out this year because there's that rumored Xbox that's coming out in 2026. You know, maybe even a handheld this year. There's a, there's a lot of rumors going on out there. So I'm kind of curious to see exactly what they do with this in the long term of things. You know, having this thing come out at $100 less, let's say they don't put a hard drive. They just have this $100 less. Maybe take a a little bit of a hit on the price. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if Xbox is willing to do that these days. Because I know that they kind of uh, you know fiend up with some money. Kind of curious how uh, they handle that. Anyway, the biggest thing I think we're going to talk about today, to me, it's not the biggest thing in general. Gearbox makes Borderlands. I'm a huge fan of Borderlands. You know. A lot of people didn't enjoy Borderlands 3, which I'm kind of like curious because I actually didn't mind Borderlands 3. So I want your guys' opinion. Like, what was the reason you guys didn't like it? I actually thought it was a, a fun game. But anyway, Border uh, Gears Box was sold to Embracer Group. I'm pretty sure that's who owns them. And Embracer Group is, being, is selling them to take two, it looks like. Now, obviously, I don't think an official announcement has came out at this time of making this video. Sure, probably by the time it comes out, probably official nights. Because once these things leak, it doesn't take much longer for like the official media statement that these publishers or these companies are making to just go ahead and release it because it's already out there. They might as well beat the majority of the people to the curve and just formally announce it than just let it run wild and get announced, uh, you know, through word of mouth. So, Take Two is going to be buying Gearbox. Now, we've seen borderlands be up and down the past few years i know you know the last game they liked a lot of people was a hit and miss on that one too maybe the type of game borderlands is is just not as desired as it used to be which is clearly a possibility you know i i enjoy the borderlands franchise so if it takes take two buying them which i'm not really feeling too much because i feel like they'll monetize the hell out of this they're really bad at monetization these days and i feel like getting their hands on Gearbox again. I don't know if they've ever owned them. I know they published them. I don't know if they've ever owned them. But getting their hands on them, I'm just scared they'll like over monetize the hell out of out of the next Borderlands game. You know, there was a lot of rumors that Borderlands was going to get announced here soon too. So maybe there's a lot to this game that's already out there, and that's the reason Take Two's bought them. Maybe they've seen what Borderlands is behind closed doors right now. And that's the reason that they going out there and buying them. Kind of curious on that. You know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that maybe Gearbox should have did the same thing that, you know, these other companies are doing where they're going out on their own and not necessarily being behind a big publisher? I feel like there's a lot of pros and cons to that. I'm kind of curious to how many more pros or how many cons has to the other one. But I think we can all agree that if this is, the route that needed to happen for Borderlands to continue, I think most of us will be okay with that. But yeah, put the comment section below what you guys feel about any of these topics. I'm very curious to you guys' opinion, especially that Xbox Series X with the, the digital version. It's got to be cheaper, man. It's got to be cheaper. Put the comment section below. Until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh, it's been a crazy week, man. Crazy week. Got a lot of stuff to look over.